Welcome, I'm Lars Sage, Gallery Manager of the Art Center of Essence Park. The first show of each year, the Art Center uh, features the artist members who have joined the previous year, and this year we have three very talented artists in their variety of medium. And I want to welcome and introduce one of those artists, uh, Cheryl Gracious. Gracious. Goodness well, welcome. Gracious. <laughs> yes. That's about what it is. <laughs> well, I want to welcome you. Well, thank you. It's and good to be uh, here. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, like where you're from and what brought you to Colorado if you're not from here, and, and uh, how long have you been doing your art? Oh, okay. Well, um, I've been in Colorado, northern Colorado, Fort Collins specifically, since the 70s. Mm -hmm. So it makes me a new native <laughs> in a way. It's all of my adult life. Um, and, uh, you know, prior to that, as a kid, we moved all over. My dad was in aerospace and uh, the Apollo program, uh, did some engineering for that. And as a result, I went to, I think it's nine or ten high school, schools before I hit high school. So really, this is home to me. Because <laughs> you know, yeah. I've lived all over the states prior oh, wow. to landing here. And it was the mountains and uh, CSU, you know, somewhat. And the... The other really great thing about Colorado, and you maybe just put down roots and stay, are the, the blue, blue, blue skies where you can see forever. That was a big new thing for me compared to the different places uh -huh. I've lived. So anyway. So how long have you been doing your art then? Pretty much all my life in one form or another. I remember, uh, you know, even as a little girl, my mom, you know, we'd color in our coloring books, put a pink dress on, and she'd be saying, well, now pick up your red crayon. That's just a dark pink, and, and here's how you shade that in. So it goes way back, and um, even though my training is in science, I've kept you know, the art going kind of as a, uh, you know, just for personal uh, when I was doing that, and it, it kind of flip-flops up. There was, a couple, there was a decade in there that I did art for a living in terms of uh, technical illustration and work for uh, inventors and patent attorneys, work for the patent office. And so it's, it's flip-flopped back and forth between the two. Uh, professionally, it's really only been probably the last three to five years that mm -hmm. this has become my main thing. If you live most of your life taking care of work and everything else. Yeah, yeah a little course. more time now, now and yeah. um, figure out what you really want to do with <laughs> the time you've got. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I see you work in watercolors. What, uh, what, what brings you, attracts you to that medium? Well, watercolor, I, Visually, what I love about it is working in the transparent type uh, media and just seeing that light come in, bounce off that white page, come back at you through those layers, mm -hmm. you get a real vibrancy. You can create a glow. What keeps me coming back to watercolor specifically, uh, keeps me interested, is that the media itself plays a part in the whole creation. The uh, um, seems to have a little bit of a mind of its own. You think about water, working in water, moving around, carrying pigment, mixing the pigment on the page, laying it down wherever it feels like laying it down a little bit. Uh, it can introduce some little surprises, <laughs> and that just keeps you interested. Um, you can see those surprises. You can panic. You can go, oh, my gosh, and start uh, mopping that up, drying it out, and getting minimizing it. Or you can say, oh, wow. Look at this neat little bloomer, look at this neat thing, and go and enhance it and sometimes go maybe a slightly different direction or, um, you know, so it's a, it's a lively medium that way, kind of. It kind of helps create itself? Yeah, it, you, you kind of, you know, dance with it a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, as long as you know which dance you're working on. Yeah, yeah, we don't give in the lead <laughs> by any means. But, uh, <laughs> well, do you work in other medium as well? I have. Um, I have. Well, with the watercolor, sometimes I'll go back to the pen and ink that I used to do with the illustration and, and make that a part of things. You know, old stone buildings, architecture, you lay that pen and ink down for the bones, you're free to work the watercolor with it. Also, sometimes independently on its own or with the watercolors, I'll use um, water-soluble colored pencils, and that's a blast. I've done a lot of work in graphite, very detailed, falling, dancing leaves and pencil work. And I've dabbled with acrylics, but I keep coming back to the, uh, the watercolors. I just, yeah, it raises, they grab me. I really just enjoy the vibrancy and, like I said, that whole creative process with those little 
surprises that controlled chaos and you know <laughs> I, I really like right um, is this mostly studio work or do you do plein air I do plein air too um, this one was I have a smaller version of this that was uh, plein air and then I went back to the studio and worked on it um, let's see how much I'm doing plein air most of the ones I have here are studio pieces um, yeah it's been Plein air's only been a couple of years that I had, you know, I started up with that just a few years back, and that took some doing, because plein air outdoors with watercolor is a whole different beast of just mm -hmm. the way things dry, the way things run, the wind blowing colors up your page instead of them coming down. Uh, yeah, so, but it's it's fun, and I've been uh, involved with the group out doing that, you know, prior to this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as an artist, can you can you share kind of a memorable experience that inspired you for a, a particular painting? Ah, uh, well, I think you know all of us with our travels, you get visual experiences that you bring home and create paintings from. But uh, if you think about just an experience, pure experience that inspired a painting, I'd have to say um, this guy here is a complete outgrowth of a little personal experience, um, the silver lining up mm -hmm. here. Just thinking back to last spring and COVID kind of descending on us. And as we went through the spring, I, I found my anxiety level kind of going up. You're unsettled. You don't know where this is going, what's going to happen. Um, sense of loss, kind of building, a little, little depressing. Found it was getting to the point where I wasn't doing anything. It just kind of shutting down and so it, it I got to thinking about things and anytime we're in darkness you always look for that little bit of light coming mm -hmm. through from somewhere mm -hmm. and this whole storm going on in my mind and spirit and having a tough time with it got to thinking about our huge thunderstorms it just seemed like the same sort of thing going on inside that we see building out on our planes those great big black black thunderstorms coming in and you're like Oh, are we going to have dangerous lightning? Is this going to be a tornado? Are we going to have huge hail? Am I going to get yet another new roof? Um, <laughs> three and eight years, we're going to do another one? And all that, you know, it just seemed to, you know, that's a great deal like the way I feel with this coming in. Mm -hmm. And you look at those dark, dark storms, as frightening as they are, they have an energy with them. And then you see that little bit of a silver lining. And no matter how dark it is, you know the sun is still back there. And it's that silver lining that brings, um, kind of re-energizes. You know, like I said, I haven't shut down. It re-energizes and it um, gives you a new sense of hope, mm -hmm. you know. And so I, after thinking you know, through all this, I thought, I'm going to come out of this little schlump. <laughs> and this was the result. And uh, you can feel the weight and the oppression of those heavy oh, clouds. Yeah, definitely. And then you've got that little barn reflecting back That's what light it can during this and knowing that the sun, the sun is behind those clouds. You've got that silver lining. So that was my experiential uh -huh. uh, painting. It, it was not anything I went out and looked at. And, <laughs> but yeah. it just came out of you. Yes, it did. Well, it was quite some, so quite some storm clouds, that's for sure. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Very dynamic, very dynamic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what made you decide to, to join the Art Center? Well, I was first introduced to the Art Center through uh, friends I paint with, uh, the Northern Colorado Plein Air Painters. Mm -hmm. There's a number there that uh, display and have been involved up here. And heard nothing but good, nothing but good things. And then um, that same group, it would have been two, 2019 now, we missed our show last fall, but fall of 2019 had a big uh, show in Fort Collins as part of. And at that show I ran into uh, Jim Sneary yeah. came came through uh -huh. and looked at my stuff and we had the nicest conversation. You know, big long, enjoy the uh, conversation and then looking at my things, he said, you know, I think you might be a good fit. You ought to come up and uh, bring a few pieces, see if you could jury in. And so I did just that. I came up, checked out the gallery. It's a beautiful spot here. I love the variety that we have. Mm -hmm different media, three-dimensional, two-dimensional, and um, I also like the fact that it's a um, nonprofit, collaborative artist endeavor. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I brought my stuff up, I got in, here I am. Here, here you are. Here I am, and like I said, my first exhibit, we got ready to open 
have our opening reception on Friday night and things shut down on Wednesday. So I've been less involved this year than I would like to be, but we've got high hopes for 2021. Yeah, we've got to, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah we've got to. Well, um, yeah, well, we certainly are able to honor, you know, those of you who have joined us in this past year, at least, you know, we can hope that we can continue to, to do this and you'll be around to have your own featured show someday yeah. in the future as well. So, um, you know, do you have any words of wisdom to aspiring <laughs> or even experienced artists that you've learned that, that you feel is significant for you that you'd like to share? I guess after doing art just for my own enjoyment for years and years and years, that switch to a more professional endeavor, um, there were two things that really enabled that for me. Uh, so I might you know, share that for, sure. for people that, you know, basically um, two things. One is getting together with a group of creative people, getting to know them. I mean, not just, you know, but I paint regularly with a group of names or, and I have a sketching group and the plein air painters and just being around folks enough and long enough to get to know them be able to, to bounce ideas off one another. It's inspiring, uh, critique, whatever. But being involved with those other creatives helps a lot. The other really big thing that was a switch for me, and it may seem kind of, duh, no brainer, but for me was I had been a kitchen table painter for years and years and years. You get everything out, you work a little while, and then, oh my gosh, we're gonna put everything away and make room for dinner or whatever. And it was a huge shift for me. My son moved out, a bedroom opened up, and I created a studio space where things can be out, things can stay out. In a way, it, it's always calling you back to work now, as opposed to, oh, I'd like to paint, but do I want to get all that out? I'm going to have to put it away, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a no-brainer for most people, even if you create a, a corner, but I had not done that and in having this room now and outfitted in a, uh, it, it just, uh, like I said, it, it calls you back to work all the time. And that makes a huge difference. I bet. You know, I bet. What you do. Yeah. So. Well, thank you. Appreciate your coming here and, and uh, being interviewed. For, and <laughs> give us an opportunity to introduce who you are. Yeah, well, since you're a new artist to our, to our uh, organization. And uh, we certainly like to invite you to come and see this new show, Meet the New Artists. And it's on display beginning January 8th and runs through February 15th. And the Art Center now is open from 11 to 5, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And, and you are always welcome to come and visit and enjoy this beautiful art. Mm -hmm. Again, thank you, Cheryl. And well, have, thanks. And we'll see you some other time. Too. Okay, sounds Great. good.